Moving on now to Japan and an issue that's long been considered taboo, organ donation. Japan has the lowest rates of organ donation in the world. And now a documentary is helping to change attitudes. The film, The Power of Two, chronicles the stories of Japanese-American twin sisters who received double lung transplants and their journey from organ recipients to organ donation advocates, both in the U.S. and Japan. We interview the sisters, but first, here's a clip. In Japan, if you need a transplant, you have to wait a very long time. 20 years for a kidney, six years for a heart, four years for a lung. This is because there are so few Japanese organ donors. In America, out of approximately 307 million people, nearly 28,500 organs were transplanted in 2009. When you compare that with Japan, which has a little less than half of the population of America, only 193 organs were transplanted in the same year. This places Japan at the bottom of the list of industrialized nations for transplant. Some actually pay for the organ by going to China or Pakistan. Some raise money to pay for medical expenses here in America. Unfortunately, Germany, Australia, Great Britain have closed their doors to the Japanese. They say, you have the money, you have the technology, you find your own donors. And joining me now are the two Stenzel sisters, Isabel Stenzel and Annabelle Stenzel. Um, the clip we just saw talks about the issue of organ donation and how it's perceived in Japan. You're both half Japanese and have spent time in that country. At one point in the documentary, you say that you realize if you had been born in Japan, you would have died. Why did you say that? Well, cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease, and it's most common in people of Northern European ancestry. Um, people of Asian backgrounds are very unlikely to carry the gene for it. My mom is Japanese, my father is German, but we were raised in America. My parents could have chosen to raise us anywhere in those three countries. I feel that if we were in Japan, we would not have had access to the medical expertise and the medical treatments that are so necessary to help people with cystic fibrosis survive. And also, um, organ donation was really a technology developed in the United States. The first uh, transplant, first heart, lung and heart transplants were done here in America. And so um, Japan did not have the technology for organ donation. And especially this idea of donating your organs after death really has not um, become sort of popular or mainstream in Japan as well as other Asian countries. Well, let's explore what you just touched on, which is that reluctance uh, in Japan when it comes to organ donation. So let's take a look at a clip that talks about that. The Japanese believe that death happens when the heart stops. So the idea of the brain dying first, while the heart is beating when a person is on life support, it's very difficult to understand. If you're asked right now in Japan, do you really want to get a transplant or do you want your child to have a transplant? Most people would say yes. But if you ask the different question, such as if your child is brain dead, would you consider organ donation? I can bet you the answer will be no in 80% or even 100, close to 100%. So the clip we just saw says that um, traditional Japanese belief is that death happens when the heart stops. And as a result, Japan now has the lowest rates of organ donation in the world, but that mentality is shifting. Why do you think that is, Isabel? Well, I think that um, more and more people are being educated about organ donation and the idea of brain death. You know, 100 years ago, people, all people died when their hearts stopped. 
now because of ventilators and technology we're able to keep people alive um, but the public has been educated about the science of the human body and realizing that when the brain no longer works and when the brain no longer supports the organs in the body then the body is dead and so little by little I think the Japanese people especially the young people will be more convinced that after brain death that is um, the only time to or donate organs and to save the life of other people, even if the heart is still beating with a ventilator. One of the uh, scenes from the documentary, there were many, but one of them um, really stuck with me, which is the, the Japanese families have to stand outside markets holding up signs saying, asking for donations um, so they could raise the money for organ donations. That was so touching. The, the goal here is for families not to have to raise money to go abroad. They, they need to find their own donors. They need to increase uh, awareness of this so that a Japanese child can wait on the Japanese waiting list and have a fair chance at receiving um, the gift of life. Oh, well, Isabel and Annabelle, your story is so powerful and you're really inspirational role models. Thanks for taking the time to join us. Thank you Thank so you much, very much. You can watch the full documentary by going to thepowerof2.tv. The film will stream on the site through the end of this month. And please click on the Say Yes to Organ Donation badge to register as a donor. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.